Okay guys, today I'm finally back in the garage and today we will install the CSF radiator and the small fan on my K-swapped uh, Integra. Okay guys, to remove the radiator, it's pretty simple. There is usually a uh, radiator bracket here. I'm missing mine, which you've seen in the other video. So you obviously got to undo that, unplug the fan. Uh, plug. I think my other fan plugs on this side, right there, the bottom one. Uh, there's a lot of room in this, so it's gonna slide right out after I drain it. So obviously, take off that hose clamp and uh, from underneath, just slides right up and drain it from here. So, well that's where I'm going to drain it from. I'm going to take off this hose shortly. Let it drain out. Well, I didn't. Hopefully that's old dried coolant leak. We'll say it's dried. But I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And uh, I'll bring the camera back. As you can see from the top I have a leak. I think it's from the radiator cap. Because I was going to pressure test it, but I'm just going to take it off and save that for another video on how to pressure test your uh, radiator. So if you guys want that video, comment below that you want to know how to uh, pressure test it. I have the stuff to do it. If you guys want that video, I'll do it. But I'm going to go ahead and drain it and just unplug the two plugs and pull it out okay guys stock fans out I removed the other fan from where it was mounted to it's mounted like that the fans are removed. Also, for those wondering, the small fan comes with this connector. Comes with this small connector right here. It doesn't work with uh, the harness that was on the car. Uh, remember, it's swapped, so I think it's got a EP3 radiator on it or a S2000. So on that switch that plug we pulled out these the terminals that went in there and we pulled out the small fan ones and we just slipped it in which I will show you closer there goes that OEM uh, plug we just pushed it through there with uh, pulling we, there's little pins on there that you got to disconnect. You got to push down or pull out and push out the wire. But there goes the radiator. It's all set up. It's all ready. Uh, super easy to put together. There goes the fan shroud, the foam. It comes with one long piece that we put across the top. Four tiny pieces that we put in the corners. And then uh, like a medium sized one that we put across the bottom. Don't forget there's spacers there. We uh, threaded these ones on. I'm not using the negative six, uh, 16A in fittings, I think they are. I'm not going to use those yet until I order some other parts to use those. And that's about it. New OEM radiator bushings. And the fan shroud. For those, uh, those of you guys that don't like spending money on fan shrouds, this is... What you guys will end up doing when you guys do your zip tie rig, how do you not know when you're done with it that you don't mess those up and end up having to leak? Hopefully you can see it, but this is one of the fans that was on the stock radiator on the Integra. So that one was zip tied through instead of using the mounting points. but. So far, so good. Thanks again to Revline Motorsports for uh, getting me this. 
and uh, that's about it. I'll show you guys with it uh, installed uh, here shortly. Okay guys, I have uh, installed the CSF radiator, super easy install, um, just so you guys do know, I did use Mishimoto uh, radiator brackets, uh, I found some bolts to use, OEM bushings, um, super easy, the only thing I may have done wrong, so you guys let me know, is that foam padding, I don't know if that was supposed to go between the fan and the fan shroud, or the fan shroud and the radiator. I put it between the radiator and fan shroud. So that part might be wrong. Uh, but like I said, you guys let me know. Uh, I highly recommend this radiator for you guys as K swapped uh, cars. Uh, in the last video it shows what years this is good for. Uh, it's a full size radiator. Um, the only downsize is I'm still having that overheating issue. I kept the hood closed, uh, I let the car idle, 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 uh, it got to 231 degrees still, so it still got really hot, the coolant temp, um, so my next step is replacing the thermostat, that's wrong, um, replacing the water pump, and that, if that still doesn't fix it, then I gotta go to looking at the head gasket, so. We'll see. The car drives fine. It drives good, but we'll see. Overall, I love this radiator and fan shroud uh, setup. The small fan's great. If you guys uh, pay attention, I just changed the pins on the OEM plug and I just plugged it right in. I didn't have to cut any harness or anything. Um, but that's it, guys. Uh, thanks again to Jeff from uh, Revline Motorsport or Revline Motors uh, and CSF radiator highly recommend uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video great radiator